A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. And I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why my Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. to one and all. I am the Good Shepherd. Perhaps one of the most popular and famed songs among us Filipinos in our liturgical celebrations is the song Ang Mabuting Pastol. In funeral liturgies, Psalm 23 is the most commonly sung as responsorial song. Even in epitaphs, this one is also common. The image of God in Psalm 23, a loving, gentle, caring, tender, forgiving, and merciful one, eases the pain and is like a balm to the aching and suffering soul. The Good Shepherd has a great love for each and every sheep. He is willing to lay down his life for each one of us. Sometimes we go astray, we fall, or become rebellious sheep and do not want to listen. He comes to find us and approaches us with gentleness and firmness, guides us along the right path. He opens a way in front of a difficult situation and leads us to green pastures. This is a God whom we truly longed for, especially in this hour of seeming darkness in our life due to the pandemic. How green and abundant are His pastures where we, kind, where we find rest and nourish ourselves. This good shepherd, Jesus, loves His sheep so much that He even becomes food for us in the Eucharist. Jesus himself is the green pasture for the sheep and leads his sheep to quiet pools as he is the living water. The Good Shepherd guides his sheep. Each one is so loved by him that he guides each one's path of life, trying to help find one's own way back to him. He knows us and knows what is best for us. Is it not comforting when someone knows you, knows what you like, and knows what you need? God knows us, our likes, our longings. He knows our limitations and weaknesses, but is not afraid to carry them on in His shoulders with much love and joy. How great to know Jesus and His unconditional love. When Jesus said, I know my sheep, what He is actually saying is, I love them. How great to know Jesus and His love 
and in turn know ourselves. The more we listen to Jesus in His Word and in prayer, the more we really know His love for us. If we do not listen and encounter His love, we will remain lost sheep. Now we ask ourselves, are we good shepherds? For each one of us is challenged and called to be a good shepherd to our fellow brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is a beautiful and noble shepherd who never uses the sheep for his own advantage. The rod and staff of the shepherd are a sign of dedication not oppression. The rod to fend off attacking wolves and the staff to assist the rugged climb. How about us? To the sheep entrusted to us are we good shepherds? Beautiful and noble shepherds like Jesus? We are invited to imitate Jesus the good shepherd who is tender, loving, gentle, caring, forgiving, and merciful. For him there are no black sheep. He even loves the stray sheep more. Let us ask the Good Shepherd to grant us the grace of becoming like him, ever ready to leave the ninety-nine righteous ones and goes in search of the lost one. At this point in time, after having received the light of Christ at Easter, we are appointed and commissioned by Him to go and irrigate this light we receive to our brothers and sisters who are lost. We pray to Him to have a heart like His, we may be able to reach out to the lost, the last, the least, and the abandoned sheep. Now, please join me in praying Psalm 23. And as we pray this, we remember all our brothers and sisters who at this moment are suffering. Those who are greatly affected by this pandemic. Financially, materially, physiologically, and spiritually. Let us pray in their behalf. And let us pray for them. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as He has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for You are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect you prepare a banquet for me, where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life, and your house will be my home as long as I live. 